Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Hey, how y'all doing out there? This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. We're over at DIY Auto School. Actually, we're at Southwest Rod and Custom in uh, Dallas, Texas. And I just got done with a truck here. It's a 1960 Ford F100. Now, what I did to it, I went ahead and installed a Mustang 2 front suspension package. <laughs> We went ahead and installed Air Ride Technologies uh, four link parallel bar rear end fucking setup on it. And we also went ahead and put the drivetrain in it, which is a 347 small block Ford with an AOD overdrive transmission. Now, let's go look at that truck and let's see what the situation is, and then we'll get back and see what the situation is. So if you look right there, you can see that the 347 is installed in the vehicle. This is a crate motor that the owner had purchased. He went ahead and got a transmission as well. It's a, an AOE, AOD, that's Automatic Overdrive Ford Transmission. And uh, what we did, we went ahead and installed this. I went ahead and put the motor mount, I, I fabricated my own motor mounts for it. I fabricated my own uh, cross member for it. I went ahead and it's, before we put the motor and transmission in, I went ahead and installed the Mustang 2 front suspension on the vehicle. And then on the rear of the vehicle, we went ahead and put the four link parallel rear suspension package on it. Now this is a system is made by Air Ride Technologies. I don't like to advertise, but these guys here know their shit, and it really came out nice if you can look at it and see that. Once the bed is installed on this truck, this thing's going to sit super, super low. Uh, he's got two-inch drop spindles on the front, and he's also got some weak springs. He's going to have to uh, do some Mickey and Mousing around with that, probably put the standard spindles back on it, and uh, probably get another set of springs as well because that's going to be sitting way too low for what the situation is. But uh, that's a situation that the owner can take care of himself. So what the real situation is, is you know what? My friend Pete filmed in detail of how to install the front suspension package, how to install the motor and transmission, and how to install the rear suspension on this 1960 Ford F100 short bed truck. Uh, if you are an avid viewer of SWRNC, you've already seen the truck. You've already seen videos of the truck. Uh, but on DIY Auto School here, I am going to take you step by step, procedure, procedure, measurement by measurement, minute, uh, detailed, specific, implicable fucking instructional video uh, for you type of situation that we will find the solutions along the way. My friend Pete fucks up a lot of shit. My friend Pete fixes a lot of shit on this little video set. And you know what? My friend Pete's showing you that even I fuck up just like everybody else in the world. So make sure that you watch these video sets on this and uh, I'm not afraid to say it. I fuck up. I fuck things up. I order parts from aftermarket uh, suppliers that don't fucking work and I get screwed in the ass as well just like you do. So you won't want to miss all these videos on this truck. Uh, we got the front suspension package coming up. That's the Mustang 2 front suspension. That's made by a company called Helex. Uh, my friend Pete's going to walk you through the situation and what he thinks about the Helex brand uh, Mustang 2 front suspension complete package for this Ford truck. Uh, we got the Air Ride Technology uh, rear four link parallel fucking rear suspension on it. I'm going to walk you through every minute detail of how to install that the proper way at home. That's right, you're going to be able to do this at home because my friend Pete shows you everything 
and then I'm going to let you know what I think about that. We got the brand new crate engine. It's a 347 small block stroker fucking uh, hot rod engine and an AOD overdrive transmission. I'm going to walk you through that and show you uh, the installation on that and what kind of situations and problems we ran into that we had to fix and uh, get her done. If you want to see all the videos on this truck, if you want to see how to install that front suspension, how to put the motor and transmission in, how to make those motor mounts, that's right, make them from scratch. Uh, we're even going to show you how to make the cross member. I don't know if you can see that back there. It's in there. There it is hiding somewhere. We're going to show you how to make that. Uh, it's a big fucking situation over here. It's, it's a situation called a 19... Uh, 60 Ford F100 custom cab rat rod truck. So don't miss any of the videos on this. Don't miss any of the upcoming uh, special video sets on how to make your truck a custom truck. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta get that truck back in the shop. I work here alone and that's a heavy son of a bitch. So we'll see you later. Take it easy and uh, Watch the videos, learn from the videos, and get off your fucking ass and do something in life. Adios, amigos. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.